Hi everyone, this is Terry. I was asked if I could record how to create cross stitch with PE Design 11. I have not recorded this process because PE Design 11 doesn't include as many features as some of my other software program when it comes to cross stitch. But I am going to show you the functions that it does include and what is included works very well. The first thing I'll show you is if you're a person that does cross stitch by hand, you're probably aware of what is called a half stitch, where you wouldn't necessarily have a full cross stitch, particularly across the back of Coco Pele and across right here. You would close those off. The program has some limitations and I just want you to be aware of that. You can add a cross stitch and you can add a back stitch. But the functionality does not include some of the half stitches that you might find in other programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose File New and we're going to go into Image and we'll choose Cross Stitch, Color. And there are some built-in clip art files that are in our software. So it's Windows, Program Files 86, Brother, PE Design, and Clip Art. When you go into the clip art, you'll notice several designs and then several folders. We'll just go ahead and we'll select the grate that I have and we'll choose open. Now, one of the things you'll see is there's something called a clipping mask. You can see where I've worked with several things, including the grapes, and I can choose the clipping mask to make sure it's selecting the outside of my design. And it did a good job and I'll choose OK. Now these are nodes. These are, are basically going to be stitches, so it's created nodes like you use when you digitize. We'll go ahead and choose next. The black background is the area that's not going to be included. I do have a 4x4 hoop selected, but I could go into my design page and choose a different hoop, and I can also tell it to fit to the page. We'll choose next. Now here's where you have a chance to change the stitch size. Right now it's 2.5. I'll leave it at that and I'll choose next. You also have the opportunity here to add a cross stitch if you wanted to. You can see that the X, if I click it here, I've now added that. And if I click it again, it's still there. So if you wanted to remove it, you need to right click to remove it. And you can also add the back stitch. Let's look at a stitch. We'll choose this back stitch. And let's just say that we were going to add it right here. You see what it did is it created a straight edge across the edge. And it's doing that in the color that is the color green. So I really need to go change that color to a different color. So let me pick this color, which is the blue. Let me take that back stitch and let me apply it to those stitches again to make sure that I pick it up as that purple instead of the blue or the green, excuse me. And I'm just editing a few of these so that I have an edge. And each click is adding a mark across here. And you can see I've added some extra, extra stitches that I probably didn't want. What happens if you choose previous and you go back to it? Well, if you do that and you go back to it, you can see that what it's done is it's more or less removed those. And that's really what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is make it a double and a double again, and I'll choose finish. All right, when it finishes this design, one of the things that you'll see is that this is a, a cross stitch design, but when you stitch it out, here's the way that it's going to stitch out. Give it a moment to finish. And you will notice that it tries to find the best path for these colors. If you get a very complex design, you may have several thread changes, particularly when you do something that is with a very small stitch. So let's choose stop. 
and let the design is selected, but notice you cannot change the sewing attribute. That's because this is stitches. If you wanted to edit it, you're going to have to select the nodes, and you can see how many we have here, and you would have to go into an area and work with the individual stitches, which could be very time consuming. We'll choose File New, and we'll go back to Image, and let's choose Cross Stitch again. Now this time what I want to do is choose a file that's on my PC. And I know where it is. It's in my on my desktop. So let me locate my desktop. And I'll go to users, to my name, and we'll find my desktop and my artwork folder. And I'm looking for a PNG file. Now it's not going to recognize the FCM file. Here are the file types that it can open. So it's looking for a graphic file. That's going to be your bitmap, tip, JPEG, WMF, PNG, EPS, and GIF files. So I'll go ahead and choose the PNG file and choose open. Now this is a file that I created for actually vinyl and I did it in BES4. And you notice it sees a mask that, from another file that I created in the past, which was grapes. That's not what I want. So let me change it by clicking on the square. And I need to drag this to the outside of this design. Let's choose clipping mask and see what we get. It's now found the outline of the bone and all of the interior. And that's really what I wanted. So I'll choose OK. So let's go ahead and choose next. And now you'll see the black background back here. That means there will not be cross stitches there. That's what I want. Let's fit it to the page. And now we have that design. We'll choose next. And now you can see the stitches. Now you can reduce the size of the stitches. You need to think about it and how much time it takes to try to get some of the detail in for the name here. So I'm trying to get the word Cassie to appear. So I'll choose next. And I'll go ahead and stitch this out so that it has a double stitch. And I'll choose finish. Now when it finishes this, the, the design, I want to make this background a lighter background so I can actually see those other stitches. So I'll make it a light blue or a green. So now you can see the cross stitch that was actually created from a vinyl template that I made as a cut file for my cutter and I saved it as a PNG file. I hope this video has been helpful to you. You can find me on Facebook in the Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group. I am the, the owner of that group and I have a couple of moderators. We talk about several things about our machines, software, and, and cover a variety of topics. I'm also a contributor to PE Design 11, also found on Facebook, and you can join several members there. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.